Hello, and welcome to the ATIT 7 math course. So this first module, we're going to be talking about performing basic calculations, and this really is the foundation for all future math that we're going to discuss. So there are four basic mathematical operations. You have addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So you guys can probably remember this back in school, learning how to add and subtract, and this really is the foundation of all future mathematical equations we're going to do, whether it's geometry and finding perimeters or different algebraic equations. So just to cover briefly, you can use addition and subtraction to check answers. So for example, 4 plus 3 equals 7. Now if we subtract, 7 minus 3 should equal 4, and that's kind of how we can check. And then, you know, multiplication, you can do the same thing. So if 4 times 3 equals 12, then 12 divided by 3 equals 4, or 12 divided by 4 equals 3. That's kind of how you can check. All right, so addition. Addition increases the value of one quality by a value of another quality. The result is called the sum, and with addition, the order does not matter. So for example, 2 plus 4 equals 6, and we can see if we start at this 2, and we go ahead 1, 2, 3, 4, we are at 6. Then we have subtraction, which is the opposite operation of addition. It decreases the value of one quality by the value of another quality. So this result is called the difference. So if you ever seen a problem, they say find the sum, that means addition. Or if they say find the difference, that means subtraction. You want to take note that with subtraction, the order does matter. So for example, if it's 6 minus 4, it will then we start at 6 and we go back 1, 2, 3, 4, we're going to get 2. However, if it's 4 minus 6, we're going to start at 4 and we're going to go back 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, we're at negative 2. So as you can see, the order does matter with subtraction, the way that the equation is written. Then we have multiplication. So multiplication can be thought of as repetitive addition. So one number tells how many times to add the other number to itself. So with multiplication, the order does not matter. So example, 1 times 12 will equal 12, or 12 times 1 will also equal 12. And if we look at that with blocks, you can see 12 blocks here. And to multiply, it would be how many rows this way. So we only have 1, so 1. So that's going to give us 12. Now, for example, we have 3 times 4 or 4 times 3 because the order doesn't matter. You can come over and you can see 1, 2, 3, and we're multiplying that by 1, 2, 3, 4. And that's going to give us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then 2 times 6 or 6 times 2, we have 6 going this way, we have 2 going this way, and that's going to give us 12. So we're going to have 12 blocks here. Then we have division. So division is the opposite operation to multiplication. One number tells us how many parts to divide the other number into. So with the division, the order of the number does matter. Example, 20 divided by 4 is not equal to 4 divided by 20. So for example, over here we have 20 peaches, and if we divide them by 4, as you can see, they're divided into 4 sections. One of those sections is going to equal 5. So 20 divided by 4 equals 5. There's 5 peaches in that section. However, if we have 4 peaches and we divide it by 20, we're actually getting 0 0.2 of a peach. Because think if you divided this into 20 different parts, there'd be a lot of, a lot of lines. So now we're going to talk about long division. So first, we are going to set up the problem in a long division format. So for example, if the problem we're trying to solve is 336 divided by 16. Our long division format is going to be 16 with this long division sign format and we're going to put 336. So what this means is 336 divided by 16. This is how we write it and you'll see why. So first we're going to calculate how many times 16 goes into 33 which is 2. So you're always taking 
this front number, which would be your denominator, and you are seeing how many times it goes into the first number. You always start, so three, 16 wouldn't go into three. It has to be something that it is a whole number, so then it would be 33. So how many times does 16 go into 33? And so this is gonna be twice. So we're gonna write two above. And then we're gonna subtract 32 because 16 times two is 32. So then we're gonna be left with one. Then what we do is we drop down the numbers that are left over. So right now we have a six, we drop it down. So now we're gonna see how many times does 16 go into 16? Well, we know that's one. So we have, now we have 21 up at the top. We're subtracting 16 and we get zero. So now our answer is 21. And that's how you would set it up in a long division format. Now, remember on the T's exam, you're gonna be able to use a calculator. So it's, it's great to know how to do these things, but realistically, if they're asking you 336 divided by 16, just plug it into your calculator. And same with addition. In this first kind of lecture of addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, you can just plug it right into your calculator. But it's important we understand these concepts because when we get into word problems or more advanced things, you do need to understand how to do the basics. All right, so then order of operations. Order of operations is a set of rules that dictates the order in which we must perform each operation. If we have an expression that includes multiple different operations, order of operations tell us which one we're gonna do first. So a way to remember these are, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So what this means is when we have a problem, like this problem up here where we have multiplication, division, subtraction, addition, and more multiplication, how do we know where to start first? You do not just start at the beginning and go two times six, six divided by six. You, you don't. There's an order that it needs to go. And the way we remember this is, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So this is parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Multiplication and division are equal precedence as do addition and subtraction. So those pairs of operations are simply worked from left to right. So what that means is the addition and subtraction, you just work from left to right and multiplication and division, you work from left to right. But you have to do multiplication and division before addition and subtraction and parentheses always comes first. So if we look at this equation, the first thing we're gonna do is exponents, right? So right here. So two to the third is gonna be two times two is four times two is eight. So we change that to eight. Now we work from left to right. So the next thing we're gonna do is the multiplication. So now we get 12, then we're gonna do the division, we get two. Then we're gonna go over here and do the multiplication because that all has to be done before we add and subtract. So now we get two minus eight plus 12, and then we add six plus 12, and our a negative six plus 12, and then we get six. So that's kind of the steps for order of operations. All right, and in the next module, we're gonna talk some more about order of operations. There is a worksheet for this section, so make sure to do those and check your answers with the answer key, and I'll see you guys in the next module. Bye.